This news update is brought to you by. This is the 7 a.m. Barbados Today News Update for Tuesday, September the 2nd, 2014. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. A pleasant good morning to you. Expansion work on the new multi-million dollar Ports Ferdinand Marina at Six Men's in St. Peter is not sitting well with residents. Residents complain they have been left in the dark over plans to build a new road leading into the marina. They contend that the expansion work, which is taking place directly behind their homes, could jeopardize their properties. Outspoken residents told Barbados today the situation is simply unacceptable. These developers come down here, you understand? Mm -hmm. And they bought the 13 acres up here. And it's wrong to know that government will take um, government land and give it to a private entity, mm -hmm. you understand, to put a road. These people creeping and creeping and might, might, might believe that it will like this whole area. These people before the business kind of stuff should get all the people together and say, this is what we're going to do. And you're poor. A community empire. Yes. Community Have empire. Community, uh, uh, meetings with the people, people. that live here. Mm -hmm. Be born here. This is Social this empire. Right. They should do it. And when contacted by Barbados Today, Chairman of the Port Ferdinand Development, Beyond Bierkum, said he was out of the island and could not comment at this time. However, CEO Philip Tempro said the developers had met with both the area representative and the residents on the work, which she said was taking place on lands owned by them and with the full blessings of the Ministry of Housing and Lands and the Town and Country Planning Department. In other news, the Barbados Family Planning Association is looking at ways to contain its operational costs. Juliet Bino Sutherland, who took over as the association's new head, says the BFPA will be paying closer attention to its finances going forward. She says the idea is to ensure that all Barbadians are able to access reproductive and health services, regardless of their social background. Immediately. We are going to be working very seriously with pushing our men's clinic. I don't know how many of you men here know that we have a men's clinic and that men can come here and get any type of service done. Um, we're working on a promotion for the end of September right through our Independence Month to really have our men's clinic up there so that, I mean, in these economic times, we know that some persons, many persons are out of work but still need to take care of their health. So we are pushing the men's clinic. We have all the, the other services that women can come and access. There's the youth department, everything. The President General of the Barbados Workers Union is concerned about what she says is the almost daily attacks against the BWU. Linda Brooks is also upset at the so-called armchair critics and cynics who've been making outgoing General Secretary Sir Roy Trotman a target to pull down. Brooks says Sir Roy has worked selflessly for the union and the country to the point of sacrificing his health. She also notes that while some of the challenges facing the union and the workers are rooted in the current economic downturn, the difficulties also relate to the negative approaches taken by some employers in the public and the private sectors towards labor management relations. There's regional and international news after this short break. Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bike. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Power. 
In regional news, Trinidad has chalked up its 100th road death for the year. The latest was a 23-year-old man who was killed in a car crash on Sunday along the Uriah Butler Highway. The victim was pronounced dead at the scene. Eyewitnesses told police the man was driving in the right lane when it appeared he lost control and his car flipped several times before slamming into a concrete bridge and ending up in a ravine. An autopsy is expected to be performed on his body today. And finally, on the international scene, Britain's Prime Minister David Cameron says new powers are needed to seize terrorist suspects' passports and stop British-born extremists from returning to the UK. Cameron told MPs it was abhorrent that British citizens had declared their allegiance to groups like Islamic State. He said the inability to stop UK terrorists from returning home from overseas was a gap in the armory. Passports are not an automatic right. The Home Secretary already has the discretion to issue, revoke and refuse passports under the Royal Prerogative if there is reason to believe that people are planning to take part in terrorist-related activity. But when police suspect a traveller at the border, they're not currently able to apply for the Royal Prerogative and so only have limited stop and search powers. So we will introduce specific and targeted legislation to fill this gap by providing the police with a temporary power to seize a passport at the border during which time they'll be able to investigate the individual concerned. This power would include appropriate safeguards and, of course, oversight arrangements. And on that note, we end today's 7 a.m. Barbados Today update. You can join us again at noon. But in the meantime, log on to www.barbadostoday.bb, subscribe to our e-paper and email updates, or like us on Facebook. You can also catch us on Izumi Media in bus terminals or screenplay in supermarkets and gas stations near you to get more news and sports. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Have a wonderful day. This news update is brought to you by...